Hello there, everybody, and welcome to Draft Simulator 23. Today, we are going to be drafting players that have won a Stanley Cup. If their name's on the Stanley Cup, they're eligible. As the comment states, you know, they've won the Cup before, so they should be able to do it again, right? No, probably not. But you better believe that I am gonna try. Alrighty then, so let's find out what team we're gonna be using. It is New Jersey. They were a team that really shocked me this year. I don't know if they're still doing as good as they were. I haven't really looked recently. But holy smokes, were they flying at one point. Actually, yeah, wasn't it them that had like a 12 or 13 game winning streak or something insane? How dare you think you can touch my lines, jabroni? Obviously, owner mode off. I don't want to be told what to do. Like, who wants that? I almost didn't turn fantasy draft on, which is the main point. Let's go with pick number seven. Just, that's what came to my head. So let's see how wrong I am. Four? I was, you know, not too far off. So we're going to get a very solid player. I'm trying to think. It normally goes McDavid, Matthews, McCarr. Yeah, the three M's. So I might be able to get like dry side. Oh, he hasn't won a cup. Well, <laughs> never mind. I can't take him. You know who has won a cup though? Nathaniel. 6.3 million as well. I think I have to do it. I don't know if I can say no. It's also conveniently the most recent cup. All right, Nate. You're going to be the quarterback of this team. Well, I guess a quarterback would be more like a defenseman. Or would they? Hmm. If you were to say, like, this player's a quarterback of my team, how would you define it? Would it be a forward, defenseman, just the best player that sort of has a seeing eye, sets everything up? Like, I don't know. How would you define it? I'm going to go with a defenseman next, but which one is the question? Doughty is franchise, Petrangelo's elite, but the salary cap difference... Oh, and he has one more ability. And he shoots right. Oh, they both shoot right. Okay, well, I'm going to go with Alex. He won it with the Blues. So, it's our first defensive selection. I mean, I guess I could play Nate Mack on the wing. But do I want to do that is the question. Tarasenko has also won it with the Blues. Right winger. Sniper. Could play with Nate Mack. Last time I expected him to go off, he didn't. So, hopefully he can prove me wrong this time around. I wasn't really sure about Jari, and it kind of looks like he got snubbed. I know for a fact that Flower's on there, though, so... I guess I'll make him our goalie. On Wikipedia, there's like an essay for Jari, so that makes it debatable, and I'm just not gonna do it. I feel like I'm just getting a ton of players that won with the Blues, but anyway. David Perron, welcome to the team. Burkowski's actually won two now. He had the one with the Capitals, let's go. And then the most recent one with the Colorado Avalanche, so he is double on there. Mans might be 33, but he has five abilities. I simply am taking him for that reason. The average age of this team is up there. And you know what? Too bad. I really don't envision this team doing well. I don't know what to expect, obviously, but just out of the gate here, not a big fan. Muzzin won with the LA Kings. 84 overall, 5.6. Again, kind of steep, but I think we still have a decent amount of salary cap. Yeah, we'll make it work somehow. If I take Brian Rust and we have our first two lines, I'd like to take a defenseman next, and then maybe our backup goalie. Truthfully, this has been a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Eric Johnson, 6 million. We're really going to have to start trying to find players that aren't making a lot soon. But we have our top two defensive pairs, first two lines. Overall, you know, we're, we're setting up well. But the players, I just don't know how it's going to look. Holt Beast, he had that legendary save in the Capitals playoff run. I don't know if there's really many other options, honestly. I know Jonathan Quick's up there, but that salary is something we cannot take on. So I think Colby's the ultimate pick right now. I'm pretty sure Alec Martinez got like a Stanley Cup winning goal in overtime. Did he not? All right, I was correct. And he is making 5.2. <laughs> oh no. But I mean, he, he scored the Stanley Cup winning goal. How do you say no to that? Looping back to the comment here, you know, <laughs> they've done it once. He can do it again, right? His goal was on Hank though. So that's kind of sad. Very upset that he never won a cup. I feel like he deserved it big time. Eller was there for that Caps run. 3.5 isn't too bad. Yan is right-handed. I am almost positive Martinez is left-handed. So this would finish off our defensive core. Our defensive core is solid. Yeah, look at this. Holy smokes. We are going to be set defensively. 5.7 million and we need... <laughs> Wow, more players than I thought. I'm pretty sure this man made it to three Stanley Cup finals in a row and lost all of them, but he did win one with the Ducks back in the day. At 81 overall and only 1 million, that is optimal for our current situation. Thanks, Corey. Pat Maroon, the mad lad. 
80 overall, 1 million again. That is exactly what we're looking for. Hopefully one of our left wingers can play on the right side. I'm drafting Cogliano because again, the cap is just ideal. And you know, he's pretty good defensively. So I think he'll be good for that bottom six. And then there was one and we need a centerman actually. Carter for sure. But then we would be over the cap. So no can do. Poor Travis Boyd played eight regular season games, one playoff game, rest of the season in the minors did not qualify to be on the cup. Want want. The fact that Sean Thornton is on the cup twice and Jumbo Joe isn't on there once is both funny and not simultaneously. There he is. Face-offs aren't great. I don't care. I'm just wanting to get out of here at this point. Hoping that the CPU clutches up and drafts a lot of prospects so that way I don't have to worry about the lines. Looks like we are mint. I don't know why. I just feel like the line chemistry is not gonna be there. Yeah. This chemistry is in fact not it. Oh, defensively though, we are set. I wonder if this coach is a defensive coach. I feel like they have to be. Their last name is McMuffin, so even if I wanted to fire them, I simply could not because that name is incredible. What I want to know is why does the head coach recommend these lines when this is clearly better? You know, that makes sense to me. I'm even going to go as far as to do this because that way we won't have two snipers on the first line. It'll be sniper, playmaker, two way. And then on the second line, we have sniper, playmaker, two. It's golden. What do you mean? McDonough, Petrangelo popping off. Johnson Martinez, plus one. And Annette, we have Flower. I don't know if he sims too well anymore, but we're about to find out. Ooh, I almost forgot to do predictions. How dare I? I, I don't think this team's going to be too good. Let's go with 39 wins on the season. We missed playoffs. And Nate gets the most points, obviously. I'll say he gets 77. All right, let's see just how incorrect I am. Hopefully I'm very incorrect. We get like 68 wins and Nate Mack just breaks all kinds of records. But I simply do not see that happening. So we're kind of all right. 7-3-1. and one. Eight in a big shutout against the Flames, only to lose to them 3-1 <laughs> a few days later. That's two shutouts on the year already for us. So Flower is clearly simulating 11 goals. Guys, where did this come from? How is this team atop the division? I clearly don't understand this game at all. And I've been playing it. I mean, not NHL 23 specifically. But I've been doing fantasy drafts for how many years now? <laughs> I just don't get it. Alright, I see you. You know, they won a Stanley Cup so they could do it again, right? Yeah, clearly they can. No shot am I making any trades at the deadline. Because I could technically trade one of our players for another player that's won a cup. But, no. I am not going to do that. You know, we could try to get someone like Patrick Kane, but the amount we would have to give up to get that individual is not worth it. Plus, our team's just going. Slavin and Alexiak to Montreal in exchange for Brant Clark and a second. We have 34 wins at the trade deadline. You know what? Historically speaking, wouldn't be shocked if we still ended up with 39 wins. Oh yeah, there it is. Four games in a row. We did beat the Tampa Bay Lightning, and then we beat the Tampa Bay Lightning again. Getting pop-ups over here, like no tomorrow. Still fighting for first in the division. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it, but we are certainly in the playoffs with a grand total of 44 dubs. Oh, it would have been nice to get that last win and have exactly 100 points, but no. We are sat at 98. 44 dubs on the year, third in the Metro. Tenth in the league, so that's not great, but it's also... Definitely not bad. The Oilers managed to sneak in at 18, so nothing too crazy going on there. Let's find out what the last place team drafted. The Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. They have Hugh, Zuccarello, and Goudreau. For Hagi, Kopitar, and Radish. Their team's not that bad. Dewey and Lindholm, Barry, Edler. Bobrovsky and Nett, why'd they do so bad? The Avs saw that I scooped up Nate Mack, and they took that personally. They won the President's Trophy with the Nervous Guy as a backup. Demko in net as well. Rantanen, they just drafted him back, I guess, so that's probably why they were salty. Patches and Trevor. Evan Rodriguez, second line center, and then Patrice Bergeron and Jonathan Tapes. What is going on here? Tremendous season from Nathaniel. 88 points. Spectacular number from Vladdy. He puts up 72. 38 goals from Nate as well. Perron has 62. Let's go ahead and check out our goalies. Flower did pretty solid, 9-15, three shutouts on the year, 37 dubs. Petrangelo had 51 points, so he more than doubled the next best defender. Mackenzie Blackwood and Jake Yo tied with 41 dubs, but Mackenzie did it in 63 games, I'm just saying. A 9-18 save percentage and a 9-20 respectively. Fox and Hedman both got a nice amount of points. Ekblad with 68, 
EK65 with 67. Another season where no one broke 100. 99 is where we would be capped off. Lindholm also got 99. Look at that. The Rocket Richard will be split by Kirill the Thrill, who ended up back on Minnesota. And Matthews, who ended up as a Winnipeg Jet. Ovi passed the Tide for game-winning goals. I just like to occasionally go through these. I don't know why I do it, but I do. Who had the most hits in the entire league? Drake Patterson, 212. Guy's just throwing the body around. Marcus Foligno, tillied once or twice, 34. Tanner, 23. I keep saying I want to draft this guy, and I keep forgetting. It's probably because by the time I'm willing to draft an 80 overall player, he's already gone. Man's also had three game-winning goals. Just a good all-around player. All right, the Philadelphia Flyers are our first round opponent. That's not a good start. That's really not a good... Okay, all right. Just don't get swept. There you go. They did all that I asked for. So if we lose now, so be it. But we did not get swept. Oh, wow, the Flyers went on to win the Stanley Cup. So clearly... They had quite the playoff squad. I don't know where they finished in the league. I didn't really look. But they are also in the Metro. So I should be able to just look at that. David Krejci leading our team for points in the playoffs. This is why I draft him, but also why is he leading our team for points in the playoffs? Flyers finished one above us. 100 points. They had Dreisaitl, Line, and Hall. That's a disgusting first line. JT Miller playing with Sagan and Rudolph's Balsers. Zucker, Faxa. Roslevic, they had Jari and Nett, must be nice. Montour and Taves. Let it, yeah, they have a good team. I'll give it to them. You know what? I can't be upset that we didn't get Jari. Flurry did just fine. Plus, it's Flower. You have to love that dude. If you don't love Flower, it's a you problem, not him. Definitely did not show up in the playoffs. A dash six for Ryan McDonough. And three points from Nate Mack. Unacceptable. JT put up 30 in 24 games played. Kane had 29 in 21. Maybe I should have traded for him. Rantanen, 16 games played and 29 points. Holy crap. Kristen Jari had a 909, so that's really not that great, but there's not a whole lot of great save percentages here. Samsonov had a 936, and then Jake Yeo a 928. Gerard led defenseman with 18 points in 21 games. Ellis right there with 14. The team awards are as follows, and individually, I'm just going to kind of go through them here, see if I see any New Jersey logos, and I have a feeling that I'm not going to do that. No. There you have it, your playoff tree. The Philadelphia Flyers dusted us, but then went to seven, two series in a row, and then absolutely demolished the West. So, <laughs> there's that. Well, that was the Stanley Cup Champions Only Draft. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. I'll see you soon.